Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm your host, Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. Over the past week, I've been a little bit sick with a cold and I lost my voice, but I'm feeling better now. My voice is getting stronger, and now I'm ready to bring you our latest episode covering some of the basics of LASIK eye surgery. There are two main types of laser vision correction that are performed today, LASIK that you've probably heard about more commonly, and PRK. A couple of variations on PRK are EpiLASIK and LASIK, L-A-S-E-K, but these are basically types of PRK. All types of laser vision correction attempt to include the power from a person's contact lenses or their glasses onto their eye to decrease their need for wearing contacts or glasses and improve their uncorrected vision. The way this works, the shape of the eye is changed with a laser that actually removes some of the tissue from the eye in order to change the curvature. In people that are nearsighted, this curvature is flattened, and in people that are farsighted, it can be steepened. Laser vision correction can also correct for astigmatism, and in these cases, the curvature is brought to a more round shape to allow the light to pass through better. The way that the laser works in someone, for example, say is moderately nearsighted. The laser would have to remove about 50 microns of tissue from the cornea. This 50 microns is less than half the thickness of a sheet of paper, so you can imagine how accurate this laser is to be removing such a thin amount of tissue from the cornea. The way it works for nearsightedness, it will remove 50 microns from the center of the cornea. A little bit out from that, it removes 49, a little bit out 48, 47, all the way until it gets to the edge of the treatment where only 3, 2, and 1 microns are removed. That creates a new shape in the cornea, which used to be steeper, but by removing the tissue, it is flattened a little bit to include the power from the glasses onto the cornea. In a custom laser vision correction treatment or a wavefront guided treatment, those numbers will vary some and won't be exactly 50 smooth on down to one at the edge. There will be some variations in the area that are unique to that patient's eye. This is somewhat like a fingerprint of the eye, therefore the laser can correct even the smallest errors in the vision. I have a lot more to share with you about LASIK and laser vision correction, but that's enough for this week. If you are checking out our past episodes, you may be able to click through and already see some of the other episodes about LASIK. But for now, that's all we have for this week. So please leave comments on our Facebook wall. You can post there and let us know if you've had LASIK before or if you have any questions about LASIK. Until next time, good health and good sight.